Right. Welcome to Fun for Lunch with myself, Ellen, and the lovely Further Magnificent. Yeah. Hi! Why do I always do jazz hands when you do that? Because I'm really overexcited, so I sort of infect you with my enthusiasm, I think. Hi! So we are here to test some cheese, as is our want, and today we have this tastiness. Look how nice that looks. It looks filthy, doesn't it? There's something about the way the sun's shining on that as well. So it's like, you know, like when then um, from this side, the sun's shining through that window, and we can you can see through, through the, cheese. the cheese with the holes. What's that that film noir where they open up the box and there's a light inside and it's like, oh, made my sweet, isn't it? I don't know. I can't remember. That's like that. It's like shining the light that she's. Oh look, I've abandoned the meese. And then there's this. They did the same thing in Repo Man, don't they, with the boop? And then they do the same thing in Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pop Fiction. It's like a it's, yeah. It's like a popular trope in films, mm. isn't it? Anyone think we knew what we were on about um, with films? Very, very sort of quite nice looking cheese, and um, with that nice layer of ash through the middle, which I, I am sure in the ingredients is vegetable ash. Um, there's not cremated cow or anything like that. There's a, a thick layer of ash running through the middle. As well as that, the, 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 the presentation to the eye, there is a certain presentation to the nose as well, isn't there? Yeah, it's quite... Whiffy. Pungent. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's not a bad smell. Fragrant. Um, you Jesus. wouldn't want to smell like that yourself. That's all I'm saying. Well, I didn't want to say, mate, but... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Do you want to chop a bit up? I ain't got a knife. You only had it in your hand. 30 seconds ago. Oh, yeah. Do you want to pass me a plate? So what's this cheese called? This is Morbier. Do we have some taste in those? No. Why? Because we don't. What, did you buy it from the cheese shop? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Well, if you'd have known, I'd have done some research on my phone beforehand. Oh, well, there you go. Do you want to get my phone and do some it's Google? It's French. Um, so I'll go get my phone and do some Google? No. No. That would be ridiculous. It's French. It's got an ash, a layer of ash in it. Um, and it's... It's, it's, it's made with unpasteurised cow's milk. Right. Um, so what? it does say, can contain harmful elements. Um, so it's probably full of COVID. Like Don't it's cow COVID. Um, so you got it from last cheese shop, presumably, then? No, I bought it the other day when we were out. Did you? Yeah. I thought we might enjoy some cheese and that's why I bought the crackers to eat with this cheese. When did you sneak off my cheese? While you were getting leathered. You were getting the gins down. You I went out to the shop and got some cheese. I came back and said, I've brought some cheese. And you went, ah, that's I've drank cheese. gin. Yeah, I've drank gin. I don't care. Where's the booze? <laughs> right. The, the, are you allowed to eat the rind? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I think I'm so. I'm scared of the rind. Are you? Yeah, I'm going to cut the rind off. There we go. Oh. Yeah, that's broadly in one of those smells awful, tastes great. Yeah. Sort of categories. Um, it does taste of what it smells like. Yeah. But the taste is so much better. Mm. And that's one of the cheeses that people... I know what they'll say in the taste notes. They'll say it's nutty. I'm never going to know that says like this, but... Um, but yeah, very creamy. Yeah, creamy. The ash layer is quite nice. Mm. Sometimes the ash layer just sort of neutralizes the flavour, and that's sometimes what it's there for, I think. But um, oh, not nice. that. Is that a mini cheddar? Or is that a cheddar? Yeah. Not a mini one. You went to have a bit with your cheese. You've got cracker for. I know, but I've have you just scoffed it all? Yeah. Have a bit on your cracker. Here you go. I love cracker. Now, oh, yeah, I'm not sure you will go on that rind. I think, I'm fairly sure that you said the rind was edible, but when you get right close to the rind, a bit whiffy. that's a bit more decaying, sort of. Farmyard. <laughs> well, not farmyard as much as corpulent. Um, that won't let me, nearly come out of my nose. Yeah. Corpulent. But, but the, the, I'm using the wrong word. I mean, I mean it, it, it smells like death. Corp 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 corporeal. Corporeal. No. Corpus. 
No, corpulent is like fat, isn't it? Well, corpulent means... Uh, but I know of you mean the body, you, you know. Yeah, yeah, and, and that's what you sort of make. Yeah, I, I knew what you meant, which was why mm. I laughed and the water nearly came out of my nose. Um, mm. That's good. I need to judge this cheese. So this is a cheese. Uh, the the texture of this cheese is like those mid European cheeses, like um, going and that. Sort of, it must be do a straight straight line between wherever in Switzerland it is they make Emmental and Gruyere and stuff like that, and wherever it is in. I think um, I've ever eaten Gruyere. Wherever it is in uh, Holland that they make Emmental and... Uh, that cracker's past its best. Is it? It's soggy. No, oh, well, I'm enjoying mine, I must say, with a bit of butter. Um, but yeah, the, 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 the Edam, so the right. cheeses. Yeah, draw a straight line. The bit in France that it passes through is where they make this, I reckon. Because it's, it's that texture, isn't mm. it? It's that, um, without being a bad thing, it's a sort of plasticky kind of uh, um, consistency. Um, mm. Very soft, very smooth, very crisp. Mm. Are you judging? Mm-hmm. She's quick to judgment. Quick twanger. Quick twanger. We'll get the drone out again. Oh, it might be a bit shit, so I can't. I'm about like, yeah, just adjust the lighting. Okay. So, I enjoyed Morbier very much. It's like a smelly of Sussex St Giles, isn't it? Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, because of the smell, I'm going to rank it just below. Ah, yeah. You didn't like the smell. The smell was just a little bit much, but it was still very tasty. Mm. So that's still, you know, towards the top end of the, the leaderboard. It's not down at the bottom. The cheese on it, huh? The top gruyere. Yeah, cheese on it, yeah. Top gruyere, which was the Adam's joke. There we go. Yeah, so there we go. I have ranked the cheese. The cheese have been tip top ranked. So there we go. Okay. See ya. Uh... So, wash your hands. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in for another quality episode of us being fucking idiots in our kitchen with cheese. Um, I hope you're well. Be kind. Wash your hands. Don't lick the knife. I hope you cut your hands.